tell you here we had a, a building on fire obviously it was uh, formerly Steve's hot dogs as you can see it's uh, pretty pretty significant fire damage we're gonna request emergency demolition at this time for it uh, the fire has been contained uh, we arrived fire department arrived on the scene heavy fire was showing and uh, there was a building to the west that was, was, was exposed heavily the firefighters worked very hard to keep the the uh, fire contained at a structure of origin and um, you know, as you can see, we're still working, trying to uh, contain it as best we can. Um, this time, no reported injuries, and uh, the cause of this fire right now is undetermined. It's under investigation. And you didn't wear in the building it was that it started? Kitchen? Well, I mean, it started apparently on the first floor, and it spread quickly to the second floor. And, uh, you know, we, we ride on the scene, we tried to make an interior attack, but it was... It was uh, it was going too aggressively, so we pulled outside, and and at that point we we uh, contained it to the building of origin. But there was the building to the west sustained some moderate fire damage as well. What triggered the grease fire? We have we have pots that we use for deep frying French fries on the stove, and it just got out of control. Yeah, it just got out of control. That's all. We tried to, you know, it was just too late. There was nothing we could do to get out of there. For folks who don't live around here, how big of an institution is Steve's Hot Dogs? Steve's, for, for what I've been told, I've been working here for six years now. This place has been here since 1953. It never closed. It was always open on holidays. And everybody loved coming here and eating hot dogs and, and sitting next to people that uh, they never came there before, like rock stars and and just famous people and didn't Drew Carey film part of his show here? Yeah, yes he did. We probably all heard Steve Hot Dogs. I know I've had a few. I'm upset because of all my co-workers and their families and everything. Losing their income and everything because of the place going up on smoke. I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit nervous.